Hello traders, welcome to the Ninja Trader tutorial and the second module charting, drawing tools and indicators. So in this lesson, we're going to go through uh, the uh, drawing tools and indicators section on the charts on Ninja Trader. And the reason we're going to do this is because uh, it's kind of different than the than the uh, platforms that you you are used to trade from. And uh, it can be tricky to find the right uh, indicator and the right tools. And I'm going to show you how to add the indicators to your charts. And of course, how to um, change the parameters in them. So let's go to a uh, Euro US dollar chart. Here we go. This is a four hour chart. Doesn't matter actually the time frame that we are looking at because what we're going to look at the drawing tools first of all. Now you can see that right here we have a uh, pencil. And when you click on the pencil, you have all the drawing tools. Okay, and uh, well, the uh, the uh, the normal drawing tools uh, or the tools that you are mostly going to use are the line, the ray, extended line, etc., the horizontal and vertical line, uh, which are very very much uh, straightforward. Okay, and uh, of course, you have all the other uh, drawings that you can use, such as the ellipse, the rectangle, the triangle, etc. And uh, the the one drawing tool that I do want to uh, show you how to use the ruler because the ruler on the trader is kind of different from uh, the MT4 platform for example and uh, what you do is you click here and let's say that you want to uh, uh, measure the uh, move from this high and at this uh, exact um, candle to this low okay so you click uh, first of all you click on the ruler then you click once at the high of the candle and then you click a second time at the low of the move right here and then uh, you have uh, exactly uh, the number of bars that uh, it took price to go from that high to that low and uh, the number of day of course and the number of pips okay now uh, the third click uh, is to actually position this uh, little square uh, wherever you want on your chart. Let's say that we want it right here. So you click the third time and you have it already. Now uh, you can see that we have minus nine, uh, minus uh, zero, zero, nine, sixteen, which when you are looking at a Forex chart um, is a minus 916 um, pips. Okay. Now if you want to delete a um, and indicate uh, I'm sorry a uh, something that you drew on your chart you just uh, click on it and you can click on the, the delete button on your on your keyboard or just uh, click on it and uh, or right click on it I'm sorry and click remove okay now you can also lock uh, for example if you have a horizontal line at this level of uh, of resistance okay and it's an important level of resistance because it was also tested as support previously and it's a level that you are always going to be watching uh, and sometimes when you are working on your chart uh, you can by mistake just move the uh, the uh, the horizontal line around okay now um, what you do is that uh, you right click on the um, on the line and you click on lock this will lock the um, the um, the line, the horizontal line that you drew. And if you want to move it, you can see that you cannot move it. All right. Now um, let's go and um, let's delete this uh, this this um, horizontal line and let's go through the indicator section of this lesson. Okay. Now. Uh, the indicators um, are prompted when you click on this button right here. Uh, the green, uh, the green square with uh, the two chart like or the the two uh, red and green chart likes inside of it. Uh, you click on it, and the, the indicator menu will be prompted to you. And uh, as you can see right here, you can you will have all the indicators that you have on your uh, Ninja Trader platform. Now, uh, let's say that you are looking for a, uh, a normal stochastic oscillator. Okay, we go to the S and the stochastics. Okay, now when you find the indicator, you highlight it by clicking on it once and then you click new. The indicator will be prompted onto your Euro US dollar chart. And uh, right here, you have all the parameters and the data so you can change 
uh, whatever you like on the indicator. And, and let's, for example, say that you like a fast stochastic, you're going to use a 9.3, okay? And the right here, you can change the upper and lower lines, uh, colors, uh, the, the style, and of course the value. If you want, for example, a very uh, overbought uh, territory with um, uh, a 10 uh, line and a very oversold, uh, I'm sorry, a very oversold territory with a 10 line and a very overbought territory with a 99, okay? Uh, you just click OK and the um, indicator will be prompted to your chart. And you can do this with any other indicator that you want. You just go and uh, look for it on your indicator list. And uh, let's say that you want a regression channel on top of your stochastics. Well, not on top of your stochastic, but also on your chart. You just click OK on uh, you and you click OK. And as you can see, the regression channel will be um, drawn on your chart. Regression channel is like a um, uh, correction channel if you didn't know already. And if you want to get rid of an indicator, you just click on the indicator uh, once and click on the delete button on your um, keyboard. And this is basically where you will find the drawing tools and, of course, uh, the indicators on the uh, Ninja Trader platform.